Another easy shift and uh, another easy day here in Boone, Massachusetts. Yep, uh, here at the lovely Boone Springs where we get all of our fresh and tasty water. We want to take a look out there. You know, One of the seven crisp, wonders of Boone. Nice and crisp and clean. It just looks like you drink right out of it. I might actually. I yeah, might. The, the waterfall is actually uh, stage one of the uh, Boone Springs filtration system. It comes down to the lower banks on the east side. It goes under the bridge and uh, it goes down to the filters down there. And that's how they bottle it. Directly through a bottle to your home. Yeah. Yep. Crisp, clean, refreshing. Boone Springs. Buy it now. Buy one, get one free. Yeah, it's one of the many perks living in this Boone. It's a beautiful place, really. But, uh, what is it, about 4 o'clock? I gotta get going, I think. What do you mean, get going? I have that thing to do. I gotta go help my mother with her doctor and stuff. Oh, your mom's dead. No, not my other mother. You have two moms? Yeah, you didn't know that? No. Alright, whatever, dude. Wait, uh, wait, I'm Fred Dean, actually. Hold on, hold on. I got something to ask. Dude, I gotta get going. Bro. I understand. Make that. it quick. Please give me one minute. Alright. Yes. Alright. So, I have these tickets tonight to the Boone Raccoons game. I don't know if you can just. Can't. Come on, Brandy. I've never seen you Not a fan of them. Not a fan of them. Why not? I, I just don't like them. I don't know. Really gonna leave me here? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm gonna lift home, though. You run faster than your bike. You should have told me. I wouldn't have my brother pick me up. You don't have a brother. Well, he's incarcerated, but he's still my brother. Yeah, I'm so gonna pick you up. He's in jail. Well, he is friend, you know? Right, well. His, his jail friend. You know, I got my walkie talkie. Just give me a buzz, okay? All right, I will. All right. I'll take you up on that. All right, have fun. All right, Brandine. All right, Brandine, we'll see ya. I'm gonna see how you heard me. Brandine, I'll see ya. It's far away, though. I'll walk you. I'll walk you. Hey, all right, Brandine, we'll see ya. He's diligent. He won't take his hands off the room. Brandine, busy? No, not buying it. Something's real fishy about him being busy tonight. Just like this sign right here. Contaminated fish? I've been eating fish out of Boone Springs my whole life. I'm fine. I lie to Slater all the time. He's The guy's just clueless. And the funny thing is, I told him I had to go help my mother move. She died five years ago when he was a pallbearer at her funeral. And he's still that clueless and he has no idea. What a moron. Well, uh, it's confirmed that Brandine is not going home to see his mother. Because he went the wrong way. I've been falling. Old fashioned stakeout. I don't think Brandine's ever lied to me. So, um, it must be important what he's doing. And I'm his partner, so I'm here to support him. I'll be right by his side, whether he knows it or not. Yeah, so uh, I'm taking the hot librarian out um, for a date. That's what I'm really doing. Um, the funny thing is, Slater's had a crush on her ever since he met her about five years ago. Um, she's one of the few hot girls in Boone. Um, and the funny thing is, Slater's following me this whole time. He thinks I don't know, but it's he's such a stupid kid. It makes me sick. Seventy one. This is it. Yeah, so uh, I'm here at the house. I'm about to go on a date with uh, the librarian. I am. You gotta be cocky going into these things. The girls dig the cockiness, and um, I'm like Krejci in the slot, and I always score. So be ready for a throw ride. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't think of that. Yep. 
Why the fuck is Amber even going out with you? You smell. You're dirty. And are you bleeding? Alright, right, look, bitch. My mom said I'm beautiful. And who the fuck is that? That's my partner. Don't worry about it. But listen, if uh, things don't work out with me and uh, Allison... Amber. Yeah, Amber. Um, how about me and you will go to the moon dog tonight and... Uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, hey! Hi. Um, I was just telling your friend how ugly she is in comparison to you. Alright, let's get this over with. Okay. Well, you should have a great bad date story. Where's your car? thought you were driving. It's common courtesy. I don't have a car. Alright, let's go. Normal people bring a car on a date. Well, that's all I have. So, beggars can't be choosers. <sighs> Good? Yep. Are you pedaling, Amber? Amber? My name's Amber, you asshole. Amber? From the Amber Alerts? No. People are looking for you. We should probably get you home, actually. No. No, that's not me. That's not me. You're right. You're not nine years old. Never mind. Let's keep going. So what are we doing tonight? <laughs> You'll see. I got it all planned. I actually have no idea what I'm doing. I read in Forbes, though, it's the best idea to just wing the date. Girls love it. So I'm a librarian here in Boone, and I'm pretty much getting desperate for anybody, so I thought I'd give him a shot. He said that he needed to get some things, but who goes to a convenience store in the middle of a date? Yeah, so I'm here to pick up a few things. A um, couple things I always bring on a date. Condoms and lube, because I always strike lucky, and uh, the girl does too. So, I'm gonna go down to the condom aisle. Hopefully, uh, got something good. We'll go, f we'll go see. Come on. Initially, I thought Brandine was on a date with that girl, but uh, he would've told me that because it was so close. So now, he must know something's up with this girl. He's doing a little investigative work. So he's on to her. And now, so is Slater. Let's see here, let's see here. XLs. Double XL. Jesus Christ. What am I, a basketball player? He's probably searching for something to help him with the crime. He didn't seem right. I'm way too fast. Right here, thin. For thin dicks. I'm pretty sure these are for thin dicks. Alright, these are the ones. These are the ones. How many? You should probably get two, you never know with librarians. Well, this looks like a good spot. For what? A picnic, what, what else? Well, where's the blanket and the food and the supplies? I didn't bring any of that, but there's a chair here, so. You can take the grass if you want. Or you can just take me home. Wait, so you don't even want to, like, make out for a little bit? Ew. Alright, fine. I'll take you home. Oh, here we are. Listen, Brandine, no matter how shitty your date was, I'm a librarian and you were going to get some anyway. I know. That's why I asked you out. Oh, you're a bad boy, aren't you? Uh, no, I'm a cop. Right. Well, in that case, I've been a really bad girl and I think I need to be punished. <laughs> oh, I get it. I'm a librarian. I'm overdue. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to take you in for further questioning. Alright, I picked some gum up at the convenience store while I was there. I was getting real anxious. I've been tailing them all night. They haven't noticed me in the slightest. I'm basically an iguana. I don't think you could handle this on your own. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to call in my partner. Partner! That's me! Right in! I'm a coming! Uh, what are you doing? I got it right in cover! What are you Good doing? Job, what? What? Have you been following us the whole time? No. This was a date, dude. You ruined it. How was I supposed to know you lied to me? You never you. lied to me. I can't believe it. I thought we were supposed to go to the Coons game tonight. The both of us. I bought What's tickets. More important? What's more important than the, the, the raccoons, honestly? Wait a minute. He didn't ruin it. I've always wanted to know what it was like to
Yeah, we couldn't do it. Shut up. Want to see some more Brandy and Slater? Then thumb up and subscribe. Just give a minute.